Hey, welcome back to another video. And now today we're talking about the five things I wish I knew before I started Vesteria. And sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, you know, school and how my teacher loves giving us uh, a test every other week. So yeah, uh, let's begin. Number one, hoarding potions. All right, this one is for, mostly for newbies. So when I first started, I will always hoard these potions. And trust me, if you are a new player watching this, do not do this. Why? Well, uh, they are only they only give you 50 health, and if you hoard them into a late game, they aren't really gonna help you. And also, potions aren't rare at all. These are technically potions, and I have like a bunch of them. It's super easy to get potions, so never hoard potions. Number two, buying every single armor tier. What do I what do I mean by this? Of course, if you want to like a air quote full exterior ex experience or whatever, go ahead buy everything. But if you're just looking for ways to save money, here's how you do it. When you first start, just buy the leather tunic, jump down here, and there will be this blue chest. Grab this blue chest, and you will have a decent start until level ten. After level ten, you can pick a class. For example, mages. You don't have to buy every single staff as you move through. For every beginner player, just buy the first staff, which is the level 10 one, and then afterwards buy a level 18 item. And then just farm until you get spider weapons. And for armor, get the level 10 armor. Why? Well, the armor doesn't really help that much in the game unless you're talking about PvP. Of course, sometimes armor can save you, like if you get to one health and stuff, but most of the time default level 1 armor is good enough for you when you're farming for levels. So only invest in armor after you're level 30 because before that, it's just a waste of money. 65 defense, sure, that's plus 15 defense, but it's not really gonna help. When you're leveling up, your health always increases with it, so it's not really worth it to buy a lot of armor. Number three, putting extremely good scrolls on low tier weapons. What I mean by that is if you have any curse scrolls, just save them. Just keep them in your bank. Forget about it until you're level 50. Why? Because those scrolls are used to make god tier weapons. Of course, I don't have any on me right now. Well, at least not on this save. Also, I'm just poor, so uh... <laughs> but anyways, curse scrolls are used to make god tier weapons. And well, you kind of need god tier weapons late game. So save them for those weapons. Do not use them on any other weapon. Save them for level 40 above weapons. Do not use it on any of anything else because other than that, it's pretty much a waste. Number four. This one I kind of wish I knew, but basically most people will ancient scroll their weapon first and get like two ancient scrolls on there before cursing. And uh, if you don't want to, you know, risk the 10% chance and then wasting a bunch of holy scrolls, you could you should go for the ancient attack scrolls. And of course, they, it's only five more percent. How good is that? I, I promise you, it's so much better than the ancient scrolls. It has a way higher chance of working. But anyways, how do you farm these things? Well, there are three ways. You can farm them from the Shaman, the Ratty, and the Batty. That, that's literally the only three places you can farm Ancient Attack Scrolls. So they're pretty rare, if you ask me. <laughs> Lastly, the fifth room on the Spider Queen Parkour Room. Instead of jumping all the way over here, you know, where, where the, this last egg is and jumping over here. Instead, you could do this jump right here. If you just jump on this wall and slide across, yeah, you could just make it. I see a lot of people do this, that's why I'm- As you can see, I see a lot of people do this, that's why I want to put the fifth one in here. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.